This part of the series will be about a Turkish shepherd dog, the Kangal. This dog breed is surrounded by a huge number of myths, like, that they are the dogs with the strongest bite force, or that they are the terminators of the canine world, or that the Kangal can defeat a wolf alone. So let's take a look at the information that a Kangal thinker needs to consider very carefully before making a purchase. The last point will also reveal whether the Kangal is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner. To keep up with the next parts of the series and to receive instant notifications of new parts, subscribe to our channel and press the bell button as well. 1. A Brief History of the Kangal The Kangal is an ancient Turkish shepherd dog, its ancestors may have developed in He region what is now central and eastern Anatolia over the past centuries and millennia. Their job was to protect the huge, wandering flocks of domestic animals from almost anything that could pose a threat to the animals, from wolves to other dogs to human invaders. As they were present in large numbers mainly in the vicinity of a town called Kangal, their name also comes from here, although the Turks often call them Karabash, an English black-headed dog, after their characteristic black mask. The Kangals were first recognized by the FCI in 2018 as a standalone breed, previously considered as a subspecies of the Anatolian shepherd dogs in addition to the Whitek Bash. In Western Europe and America, fortunately, this breed was completely unknown for a long time, and their export were banned by the Turkish authorities, first appearing in small numbers in the West in the 1960s. As they becomes more popular by today, Kangals are also beginning to meet the negative consequences of mass breeding. 2. The Personality of the Kangal The Kangal is an extremely strong and hardy sheepdog breed that, despite its large stature, is fast and agile. Because they protected flocks on hundreds of thousands of square kilometers over the centuries, this breed has an extremely independent and very strong set of protection instincts. Because Kangals have always been used in packs, and never alone, as a shepherd with a larger flock has kept up to 10 to 20 Kangals for effective work, the Kangals still feel really good in packs to this day, which is true of their human environment as well. They are accepting their owners, but they are hostile and offensive to strangers, be they animals or humans. Although the Kangal is a formidable warrior and has a really huge biting power, their effectiveness against wolves should be classified as myths for two reasons. On the one hand, Asian wolves in Turkey are much smaller than grey wolves, weighing around 40 to 50 kilograms on average, and on the other hand, Kangals, like other shepherd dogs, were always really effective in a team. If you'd like to hear about how the Kangals stood up to the nearly 80 kilograms European grey wolves, check out our detailed breed info video, in which a breeder talks about this in detail. 3. Kangal Size and Coat Kangal is a large dog breed, according to the Turkish standard, it can have an average height of 71 to 81 centimeters and a weight of 45 to 65 kilograms. Of course, under the influence of fashion, there are much bigger Kangals with bigger weight, but breeders usually say that the huge weight negatively affects their ability to work. In addition, many people confuse them with the Axaray Malakles, a more muscular, larger-sized, more guarding-oriented Turkish dog breed. Their coat is short or medium length, dense, with thick undercoat. Depending on the climate, large differences in hair length are possible. 4. The Trainability of the Kangal The Kangal, as mentioned earlier, is a very independent dog breed with a very high level of protection instincts. There is simply no need to train them for area and flock guarding tasks, a Kangal coming out of a good breeder instinctively knows what to do if those around him are in danger. Despite all this however, it cannot be said that they are not able to do western type of guard work, we know examples, when the local civil guard personnels use Kangals with great success. Conditioning aggressiveness for Kangals however, is not recommended, or only in very competent hands, as a spoiled Kangal can be life-threatening to its environment. 5. The Activity of Kangals Also due to their past, Kangal is a breed with a huge need for movement and activities. For millennia they worked in vast open spaces, covering vast distances daily, adapting to the movement of flocks and the guarded animals. In this dog breed, this legacy has definitely survived to this day, the Kangals are not suitable for being kept indoors or in an apartment, their lives are complete when they can use their immense energy to work in a large area. In all of this, they are not disturbed by extreme weather conditions either, 
The Kangals are as agile in the scorching heat and very cold weather, like their ancestors in Anatolia. 6. The Health of the Kangal Despite their large stature, Kangals have a long lifespan, averaging 12 to 14 years. In addition, they can be considered a dog breed of outstanding health, thanks to the fact that they are the, in quotes, end product of a very long period of natural selection and popularity fortunately reached them late. Dysplasia has appeared in recent decades in individuals weighing above the standard, for which it is worth screening them. 7. And finally, the last question. Is the Kangal ideal for a novice dog owner? The answer to this question is definitely no, as it takes a lot of experience to keep and breed this noble, powerful, freedom-loving, and extremely dominant dog breed. In addition, the Kangals, here we think primarily of males, instinctively senses weakness or lack of power over themselves, and in such cases will attempt to take over pack leadership, a situation which is not an easy task to handle with a dog with such physical abilities. The Kangal is also not ideal for those who cannot provide adequate space and work for this dog, as without these the Kangal is not a Kangal, confinement and inaction will most certainly lead to a distortion of the dog's personality, which is also undesirable. However, for those who have experience with tough and large dog breeds and can give this dog what has been said before, there are few better choices, if Kangal's guarding an area, the owner does not have to fear much from anything. If you would like to see the other parts of this series, don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell button, so you'll get automatic notifications about new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.